Hello, welcome back. Today it's all about building characters and we are continuing to build Pathfinder characters for 2nd Ed Edition and I decided that uh, it would be good to start working on the Sorcerer. We'll do the Sorcerer for today and next week we should be doing the Wizard but that's beside the point. I'm going to put up a poll. Feel free to take part in that poll if you want to. Uh, my suggestion is grab some food, some drink, make sure you're comfortable. Hello, how are you Fred Hubber? You will need nothing other than your brain and your ability to make decisions today. And uh, we will we'll get straight into this and make a character, eh? Let's do that. Hi, welcome to How to RPG. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today it's all about building characters. We're going to be building a character for Pathfinder 2nd Ed Edition, the Sorcerer. I've never really had a really good look at the Sorcerer for Pathfinder 2nd Ed Edition. It's been a very brief sort of quick look and that's really about it. Not much is done. So I actually know very little myself about building the Sorcerer. But what I will be doing is using a piece of software we've been using in the past, the Wanderer's Guide. It is um, it's gonna, it's, it's free, you don't have to pay for it, you don't have to spend any money. And it really, it just walks you through the process of building a character. And I think that's probably the best way to approach building a character for Pathfinder when you're starting out. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, to keep an eye on what's going on, I'm going to be using my phone to track the, uh, the chat, hopefully. Uh, it will <laughs> do that. It doesn't always catch up with me sometimes, but that's the intention. And uh, we're going to jump over to the Wanderer's Guide in a second and go through that. All right, it says there's a phone coming up. Yes, it says I'm going live, which is all very well, but that's not what I'm after. I just want the stream to come up. Okay, good. We've got it. We're there. So let's uh, transition over to that website. You will need to make a... Um, an account. Now the account isn't going to require you to build a, a separate account. You just use your a Google account or a Reddit account, which is, as I've said many times before, something I'm not very fond of. I don't like the idea of not being able to have an account for this particular website separate from my Google or Reddit account. But unfortunately that's how this one works. Uh, you can build six characters for free. It doesn't cost you anything. If you want any more you will have to pay. Uh, but I just delete characters when you need to do so. So you simply go over to create character, which is a little person with a little plus sign. And we hit that button. Hi, how's it going, Eddie? How are you? A shadow sorcerer. Well, we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So we're going to start. We're just going to do a level one character. There is a drop down menu for the level here, which you may not all be able to see, but that's all right. Um, I can. That's the main thing. Uh, <laughs> so we want a character name. We're going to name this character while I am explaining to people very quickly how this thing works. Those of you who know, that's great. What is the character's name? Uh, name. All right. All right. So you give me a name. And I will explain what, what's going on here. We're going to use the ABC system, which is Ancestry, Background, Class, and then you're done. Okay. Um, if we were wanting to build a character beyond level 1, we'd probably use the build by level approach, but we're not going to do that today. So all of our ability scores, it's, this is, I mean, Pathfinder is just a clone of Dungeons and & Dragons. And so uh, essentially everything starts at 10. All our ability scores start at 10. We'll adjust them. We're going to remove the Advanced Player's Handbook and the Game Mastery Guide so there isn't too much. You're just going to be using the core book, okay, which is 600 pages long. Um, I'm going to keep um, Auto Detect Prerequisites turned on, and I'm also going to have the Class Archetype left on because we found that to be quite useful. You can turn on all the options if you wanted to, but uh, yeah, again, just talk to your Game Master. This is just to keep it simple, otherwise this will take far too long as a live stream. Okay, so some character names are popping up, I see. Okay, so we've got, oh, all right, John, <laughs> Diego. Hello, Diego, how are you? <laughs> Israel, <laughs> Shine has got, mm, okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's do something like this. Um, I can take it, I'm going to take Shiner81, Eddie and Diego's name. I don't know if we can fit it in, but we'll try. Elf, Elthoriel, J, 
John Moon Dawn. <laughs> He's got a middle name. Uh, or she's got a middle name, John. Hot feet. <laughs> All my son's characters are named John. Oh, I see. All right. <laughs> uh, oh dear. All right, let's do the next thing. Let's press the little arrow that takes us to the next step, which is our ancestry. Once it loads up, it is thinking. It's thinking about doing this. My computer's not slow, people. Our ancestry. We're going to pick an ancestry. Uh, hashtag uh, pick an ancestry. So what are the ancestries? I will tell you. The choices are the following. Keeping it from just the core book, it's the dwarf, elf, gnome, goblin, halfling, human. We've definitely made some goblins and some gnomes. Um, I think we have made a human so far. <laughs> oh dear. It's the, the middle name is always the secret name, right? It's the, it's the, the middle name is always the name that nobody wants you to know about. It's like... Uh, my my name is John Smith, but my middle name is Maurice, and I don't want anybody to know. Oh, it's Elf all rounds today. All right, Elf it is. We select the Elf. Okay. So we're going to pick a heritage for our Elf. There are a couple of other things we need to do, but we'll deal with the heritage first. Hashtag pick a heritage. Her heritage. Oh, we've got somebody new in the chat. Um, now, let me just see if I can get this name right. Because um, Diago, Fred Hubba, Eddie, and Shona all picked, uh, well, most everybody. Diago didn't pick anything. Um, but we had Alf around. We had a halfling. This is Zig, Zigit Stiver Black 92. Zigstick, oh, Zidstick, I'm not going to get it right. Arsonist. Oh, now, heritage. Let, let's go with heritage. So we get um, Arctic Elf, Kevin Elf, Seer Elf, Whisperer Elf, or Woodland Elf. Those are the choices. Sorry, I, I had to actually tell you what they are, didn't I? Didn't actually get around to doing that. Um, <laughs> how did we, how did you come up with Arsonist, Fred? Is that the heritage? An elf that's a hero um, that that's an arsonist. So Arctic elf, uh, Kevin elf, Seer elf, Whisper elf, and Woodland elf. Those are the choices from the heritage. I'm gonna have a drink of water. Once we have some votes for the heritage, we're gonna go in and we're gonna select a an ancestry feat. We're gonna have to boost some of our ability scores, or just one actually, as it happens. So, so far we have Whisper Elf, we've got Kevin, we've got Arctic, okay, it's, so let's let's grab some dice, it looks like there's going to be a bit of a roll-off taking place here. Um, so, how many choices do we do? A Fire Sorcerer, that's, that's, oh, I see, I see what's going on here. So, we, oh no, hang on, we've got two votes for Arctic, so Arctic it is. Fred Hubber has voted for Arctic, and Zag, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to call you Zag. Zag, I, I, I don't know, I can't get my mouth around the name. Too hard today. Okay, so, there's so many days that it's like that though. Um, Arctic, let's do the Arctic one. Okay, let's pick a an ancestry feat. So, <laughs> hashtag. So let's pick, um, pick an ancestry feat. I will tell you what the feats are, of course, because you can't see the drop-down menu. Not right now, anyway. So we have Elven Law, Elven Weapon Familiarity, which I... Uh, forlorn, Nimble Elf, Otherworldly Magic, Unwavering Mean. Is it Mean? Mine? Mean? I think it's Mean. Unwavering Mean. Why is there a question mark beside this one? Ancestral longevity. Uh, let's just check this. You need to be at least 100 years old. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. You're an elf. If you're not at least 100 years old, you're like a baby, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, so I think all of these are not going to be a problem. So. 
uh, <laughs> Elven Law, Elven Weapon Familiarity, Forlorn, Nimble Elf, Otherworldly Magic, Unwavering Mean, I don't know what these do, Ancestral <laughs> Longevity. <laughs> longevity. It looks like Fred wants the Longevity one. Oh, here we go. Unwavering Mean or the last one. Forlorn. All right, so we're going we're going across the board now. Where's my dice? I have to roll some dice again. Uh, unless, of course, um, Zag wants to break that. Uh, break the. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, Bruno. How are you, Bruno? Shiny. Uh, Shiner eighty one's gone longevity. Okay. Otherworldly magic. Okay. So that's. Oh, 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 and oh, oh, it's a it's a battle between un, otherworldly magic that Bruno and Zag has um, suggested. And then we have um, longevity, which is um, Shiner and Fred Hopper. So let's go. Longevity is one to three, and otherworldly magic will be four to six. I'm rolling my six-sided dice now. Oh, and it's longevity. We're doing longevity. Is there anything else to worry about? No, there isn't. Let's go out. I'm going to boost one of our ability scores. So we already get a boost to our dexterity intelligence. We get a flaw to our constitution. So that goes down by two constitution. So it's now not a 10, but an eight. Dexterity goes to 12 and intelligence goes to 12 because we get a boost. of, And each boost is um, two points and a flaw would be two points. So we're going to get to boost one ability score. Okay, so hashtag. What ability score do we do we boost? Hashtag. What ability score do we boost? And that is my question. Oh, now you're changing your vote. Fred, you're making it difficult. Otherworldly fits sorcerer. Okay. You can be older. I don't care what age you are. If you want to be old, you can be old. Otherworldly, fine. That breaks the thing. So, removing... And we'll put it back in the otherworldly one. Okay, we got otherworldly this time. Okay, we happy? Oh, it's because you want the cantrip. Ah, there's a few people who know what's going on here. All right. Okay, so the choices for boosting our ability scores are we get to use, it's either strength, constitution, wisdom, or charisma. It cannot be dexterity or intelligence, people, because we've already had a boost to dexterity and intelligence, and you can't boost the same ability score when you're doing your ancestry section. So you've got to choose different ones. Okay. Are we that old? You're an elf. Elves, el an elf is like 100 years old, just coming out uh, as a teenager, aren't they? It looks like there's a lot of charisma. Look at this. Bruno thinks charisma. Zag thinks charisma. Shiner81 says charisma. Um, yeah, I believe that, yes, yes, sorceress will be charisma-based. Remember, Pathfinder is just Dungeons and Dragons, a copy of Dungeons and Dragons. Even Second Ed Edition is so heavily copied from D and D. Of course it is. So yeah, so charisma it is. Happy with that? That's fine. We need to pick a language. You want? <laughs> we'll do the cantrips shortly. Just let me get the languages done. Hashtag. Uh, pick a language. Pick a language. So the, the choices, I'll read off some of them. Celestial, Draconic, because there's so many. Knoll, Gnomish, Goblin, Orcish, Sylvan, Abyssal. Um, then something like um, Arboreal, um, Orion, Common. I don't think we'll need Common. I think we've got Common already. Okay, We've got Elven and Common already. We don't need them. Uh, we've got Cyclops. Uh, demonic, druidic, dwarven, um, what else, uh, halfling, there's halfling here, infernal, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, anything else that sort of stands out that I can actually pronounce, a shadow tongue, do you want to have a shadow tongue, you can have shadow, you have sphinx, if you want to talk to a sphinx, uh, under common, and uh, yes, so some choices. Draconic or Celestial? So there's two. Oh, so 
Diageo and Bruno are on the same page here. It's all right. Whether you've played Pathfinder or not, it's all cool. I'll explain things as I go. You ask your questions, I'll, I'll answer them as best I can. I don't know everything. I've played Pathfinder first ed edition, never second. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. Um, okay, never played it. Uh, so we've got that one. Patience is virtue, and, and uh, virtues are for boring people. <laughs> All right. Draconic. Okay, there's a, there, there seems to be a very heavy focus for let's have draconic. Draconic it is. Done. Right, but we're not done because we have to pick a, a cantrip. I will tell you what the pet cantrips are. Pick a cantrip. Let's try picking a cantrip. I'll tell you what they are. So we have chill touch. Acid Splash, Light, Detect Magic, Electric Arc, Tangle Foot, Sigil, Read Aura, Ray of Frost, Produce Flame, Dancing Lights, Ghost Sound, Mage Hand, Message, Shield, Daze, Prestidigitation, got through it, Telekinetic Projectile, and that is it. So I'll go through them again so you know what they are. They, they're, they're, look, they, most of these cantrips are very similar to what you're used to from Dungeons and Dragons. Chill Touch, Acid Splash, Light, Detect Magic, Electric Arc, Tangle Foot, Sigil, Read Aura, Ray of Frost, Produce Flame, Dancing Lights, Ghost Sound, Mage Hand, Message, Shield, Daze, Prestidigitation and telekinetic projectile. Whew. Cool. Now, time for me to have another drink of water. For those of you who are wondering how fast this process is in terms of building characters using this website, it's very fast. We are almost one third of the way through. That's how quick quick it is. Now, a shadow or a fire cantrip for Fred. A ghost sound for Shiner eighty one. Flame or Ghost, okay, okay, fine, and then Eddie is wanting a, a telekinetic projectile, and Zag is looking for Ray of Frost, so do we have a repeat here? We're Arctic for the for the following theme, <laughs> so are you going to go with Ray of Frost? Okay, so we've got Fire. Well, we don't. We the only fire one that we have here is produce flame. We can pick up. Remember, we, we this is just this is look. We, our, our, we can get more cantrips. We're a sorcerer. We're going to get more cantrips. So we, we we can pick any of these. It doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, it's it's all cool. So fire and flame. Okay, fire and flame comes up twice. No, ray of frost comes up twice. So it's a roll off between. Produce flame, isn't it? All right, so let's go um, the flame one, one to three, and then four, four, five, six is going to be the ray of frost. Okay, let's let's have a go because we're gonna. Have... All right, so it's a, a produce flame. Um, uh, where is it? Produce flame, and I, I suspect we're going to be going back, and uh, and having ray of frost at some point since there's a um, an icy theme here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always interesting building a character um, by committee. Anyway, let's 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 do this. Let's go to background. So there's a lot of backgrounds. A hashtag. Pick a background. Background. Okay, now <laughs> Eddie's upset. <laughs> Tell you, just calm down. You're going to get some cantrips, people. Just calm down. All right, here are the backgrounds. There's a lot of backgrounds in the core book. Acolyte, acrobat, animal whisperer, artisan, artist, barkeep, barrister, bounty hunter, charlatan, criminal, detective, emissary, entertainer, farmhand, field medic, fortune teller, gambler, gladiator, guard, herbalist, hermit, hunter, laborer, martial discipline, acrobatics, martial discipline, athletics, Merchant, miner, noble, nomad, prisoner, sailor, scholar, scout, street urchin, tinker, and warrior. Okay, would you like me to repeat that again? I will. Okay. Acolyte, acrobat, animal whisperer, artisan, 
artist, barkeep, barrister, bounty hunter, charlatan, criminal, detective, emissary, entertainer, farmhand, field medic, fortune teller, gambler, gladiator, guard, herbalist, hermit, hunter, labourer, martial discipline acrobatics, martial discipline athletics, merchant, miner, noble, nomad, prisoner, sailor, scholar, scout, street urchin, tinker and warrior. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. There are so many. Okay, what do we got? Arsonist. You keep going back to arsonist. <laughs> Fred, what is going on for you today? <laughs> pole dancer. There, okay, so what's the closest thing to pole dancing? An entertainer, I guess. Next. He's an artist with fire. Okay, so entertainer or artist seems to be the, the where we're going with this. Hermit because of his cave elf. Cave elf. Diago is said a bounty hunter. Um... And then we've got bounty, two bounty hunters. Zag and Diago. Diago. Diego. Diego. Oh my gosh. Um, yes. So it looks like we have a winner. It is the bounty hunter. Because <laughs> one is an artist and one is an entertainer. So we've got artist and entertainer. Hermit. <laughs> and then there's a lot of bounty hunters going on. Oh, you want artist now? Oh my, you're making it complicated for me. Um, and to be this chaos. <laughs> well, I mean, it's. You think? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's going to be a bounty hunter. Uh, this is funny. Here we go. So we get two boosts. We get to boost two of our ability scores during this stage as part of the background. Okay, we already have as part of this training and survival because bounty hunter. Um, so we're going to do some boosting in a second. Scholar or fortune teller? Scholar or scholar? <laughs> okay, so we're a bounty hunters right now. Okay, hashtag uh, pick two ability scores to boost. Okay. All right, shenanigans I call. <laughs> there are there are a lot of shenanigans in these uh, these character building sessions. Okay, so we have to pick either strength or wisdom, and then after that we can pick as the second one um, strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. We cannot pick the same ability score twice as part of the boosting for the background. So they have to be different. Okay, so even if you decide, okay, we're gonna go strength or wisdom, the next next selection cannot be the same. So decide, put in your two choices. I will have a look, and we will decide what we're gonna pu push up. We are going to be a sorcerer, so I suppose it would be good to have a fairly high charisma since you're a sorcerer. But you don't have to do that. I don't mind. Um, it's not like we're gonna play with this character. This character is just a character, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so what do we got? We got some choices here. Oh, do I? I'm gonna have to. Add, I'm gonna have to keep, keep score. Where's my bits of paper that I use for drawing and writing stuff on? Um, oh, let's do this. But this is an old envelope. So, based off uh, how things are, are panning out, looks to me like we have a charisma. We have a dex. So that's from Fred. Uh, you can pick Charisma again, um, Diego, but you can't pick it twice during the background level. So we can have Charisma again. So that's that's fine. You can do that. Yeah. Okay, so then we have Eddie has decided it's going to be Charisma and Con. Okay, and then um, Zag. And how's he going, Zag? I, I, like, I just like watching Dog the, the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, oh, so Eddie's changed his choice. You want strength and con. Is that what you're saying? All right, so that's that means I have to change the charisma to... You can have charisma. You, as part of the choices, you can go charisma. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. All right, okay, so what do we got here? I went strength, con, 
And then Eddie changed his vote to strength, charisma. Oh, okay, so, so, so we're not going charisma, we're going strength. Strength, okay. So we've got one for strength. <sighs> okay, now, um, Diego has gone wisdom. One for wisdom, and he wants charisma. So we've got another one for charisma. Then... Uh, um, Fred, what have you done here? You've done charisma and wisdom since we were ha have, we were limited on on one. Uh huh. I'm confused. <laughs> Bruno, put in your vote. Decide what you want. There we go. Wisdom for the background, charisma. Okay, so so Bruno wants charisma. And he wants wisdom. Okay. And then Zag has gone with charisma and intelligence. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what, what gets the biggest numbers. Well, charisma is in there. And then wisdom is actually in there as well. As for two. Two votes for wisdom. So we go wisdom and then charisma. Ta-da. Done. Okay, we're not finished. We're going to get to boost again, just not just yet. Okay, we're going to go to a class. I don't have to ask you what class we're going to have because we know what class we're going to have. It's going to be a sorcerer. Mm -hmm. So we'll pick sorcerer. There we go. There's our sorcerer. And we're going to get to do some more boosting again. At this point, there's a few skills to pick. So pick three skills. Hashtag. Hashtag, pick three skills. All right, okay. So I will tell you what the skills are. Now, the great thing about Pathfinder is it doesn't kind of screw you over with what you can choose. It's actually very, very open. So you can have acrobatics, arcana, athletics, crafting, deception, diplomacy, intimidation, medicine, nature, Oculate, performance, religion, society, stealth, or thievery. We already have survival and we already have legal law as, as skills. So those already exist on our character. Okay, I'll go through them one more time so you know what they are. Stop with the fire starter thing. Um, acrobatics, arcana, athletics, crafting, deception, diplomacy, intimidation, medicine, nature, Oculate, performance, religion, society, stealth, or thievery. Now, one of the things you'll notice, even though we get to pick um, three skills, there's no real limit. They don't say, okay, this class can only pick from this very small subset of skills. It's not like Dungeons and Dragons um, 5e. It's certainly not like Dungeons and Dragons um, 4e, which is used to do that as well. You can pretty much um, customize your character with your skills any way you like, except for Firestarter, because Firestarter is not an option there. Okay, you can get some flints and steel as part of the equipment loadout. A twisted. Are you all going down this route of Firestarter? Uh, okay. All right. So, um, Eddie has put in his votes. We've got stealth. All right. So we want stealth. We want Arcana. And we want diplomacy. Oh, at least somebody is picking from the things I have suggested. <laughs> Got to go. No problems, Diego. Thank you for hanging out. I'll catch up with you some other time, eh? Okay, so we've got one. We've got votes for stealth, arcana, and diplomacy. And then the next person has put in. So Fred Hubbard has put down stealth. Oculate. Almost feel like you pick Oculate every single time. Uh, crafting, which is an option. This is Fred Haber. Okay, good. And then Bruno has gone and put Arcana, Oculate, and Diplomacy. Okay. And then we've got Zag has put in his... So you want Oculate Zag? Was a good song. <laughs> uh, Oculate, Diplomacy, 
and society. Okay. Right. So we've got a few votes in there. If there's any more votes coming in, this, this is the time to do it. Otherwise, right now, it looks to me like the winners are... Oh, just because of the way I say it. Thank you very much. Oculet's going to get it. Diplomacy's going to get it. And it would be a toss-up between Stealth and Arcana. And I will I will vote for Arcana. How's that sound? That'll... Um... <laughs> okay. And then Oculet. And you select a Diplomacy. Diplomacy. Okay, so we've got them. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we've got a few other choices. We'll do our bloodline in a second, but um, well, let's do our boosts now. Hashtag. What for ability scores do we boost? And so you've got to have four choices, people. That's quite a few, I know. Um, but yes... Four choices, we get to boost four. It can't be the same one four times or even two times. You can only boost the same thing once. So it's either strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. So yes, you can have charisma in there. That means you would have a charisma of 18. Yes, you can boost constitution. You have four that you can boost, right? So there's going to be a few things going on here. One of the other things that you'll discover that when you pick um, uh, your... When you pick your uh, class, your key ability is charisma, and it often will give you a boost as well, okay? If not always. <laughs> so there's a few things to choose from. Yep, four ability boosts. So, and they, each one will go up by two points. All right, so how are we doing here? So I can see, uh, next build is all words he, can, he can't say. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Selecting everything that I can't say properly. Great. I'll remember that. I'm not going to forget that. Now I know where you got what you come, come here for. It's just to um, embarrass me and make me have to say things I can't say. Um, okay, let's have a look. What have people voted for? So Fred, you've gone with... Charisma, Wisdom, Constitution, and Dexterity. Bruno has gone with Charisma, Constitution, Dexterity, and Intelligence. Woohoo! And then Zag, you've got here Charisma, Dex, Dex, con, and wisdom. Interesting. Oh, well, we're... Now, Eddie, you've put here less than three. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Is that a shortcut for, for voting? What, who are you voting for? <laughs> what are you voting for? Is this... Is this supposed to help me or make it more confusing for me? You have to help me along a little bit more. I, I can't deal with the and three. I don't know what that means. Um, is it a pointy hat? Is it a person with a pointy hat? <laughs> I've got no idea. Okay, let's let's have a look. So it looks to me like we're taking charisma, dexterity, because we've got three of them. Uh, Constitution's going to get it, and then wisdom was probably going to get it as well. So let's plug those in. Charisma, dexterity. Come on. Con and a wisdom, a wisdom beer. Oh, it's a heart. Oh, okay, now I understand. I'm a gem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, dear, <laughs> you haven't been in enough, in enough of my live streams, to, obviously. <laughs> anyway, let's do the bloodline. Um, let's pick a bloodline. It's a hose. Stop it. Hashtag um, pick. Oh, man. Pick a bloodline. There we go. So this is this is where we're going to get some bloodlines going. I'll tell you what they are. 
Never a dull. No, they're not dull. The character builders are never dull. I'll tell you that now. Um, aberrant, angelic, demonic, di- di- diabolic, draconic, elemental, fey, hag, imperial, or undead. So I'll let me go over these again. These are the bloodline spells you can have. Um, you can have access to. So it's aberrant, angelic, demonic, diabolic, draconic, elemental. Fey, Hag, Imperial, or Undead. Those are the choices. And while you are thinking about it and deciding what you're going to do, I am going to have a drink of water again. Um, Now, if you were wondering, we are almost done. We are almost finished. We've got to select our spells and some equipment, and we have finished building our character. So we've got one vote for Aberrant which is fine. And so far, it looks like our character's got no real weaknesses right now and a very high charisma. So that means whenever we cast a spell, it's probably going to do a lot of horrible things to somebody. Demonic, elemental. Okay, I'm going to get ready to start rolling off on these. Looks like we're going to have a, a, a cross the choice. Your second choice is draconic. Well, we can only pick one. So it's only one to pick from. Okay, so, so far. Oh, here we go. Hello, Itchy. How are you? Hey, man. Great to see you. Well, I'm usually here at about this time, aren't I? So, you know, um, (laughs) welcome back. We're putting in votes for our uh, bloodline for our sorcerer, which is aberrant, angelic, demonic, diabolic, draconic, elemental, fey, hag, Imperial or Undead. Okay, let's have a look. So it looks like we might have uh, Draconic coming up. Fire, Angelic, Fire, yes, yes, yes. So out of the choices here, we're going to go with, so I'm going to roll off an eight-sided dice because there's eight, there's four choices so far. Um, So Aberrant is going to be one to two, three to four, Okay, make it draconic. Oh, okay, all right. No, I'm not rolling. Okay. Fine. Draconic. No rolling for me. And we have to pick a skill. Okay. Spell repertoire. We'll deal with you in a second. So we've got a whole lot of things that we had access to now. So we're going to pick some, pick another skill. Um, actually, do I even need to do that? Can I just go back and have a look at the skills that you picked before and just pick something that uh, we missed out on? Uh, oh yes, I can. I can. I can because we did this before, didn't we? So we we already have one, two, three. Ah, oh, we didn't get stealth. Let's just get the stealth one. There we go. Stealth done. Sweet. That sped things up. Don't have to ask that question again. Just pick up ones that we missed last time. Sweet. Good. Now that's that's done. Now we can go to our character sheet. It will tell us if we've done everything correct. If there's any problems. There'll be a little yellow triangle in the top um, right corner, which we do. We're getting it right now. Um, And this will tell us if we've made any botch ups along the way. And it says an unselected language. This seems to be a glitch on this website where we go in, we select a language, and it doesn't actually pick up the, the language we had selected, which is kind of a pain. It does this quite a lot. Um... I'm sure that they will eventually get this fixed, but they haven't fixed it yet. Come on. So even though we selected it, it's probably unselected. Unselected it. Yeah, there we go. And I think we had Draconic, didn't we? Okay, so that means we can go back here. Quick fix. Fred mucking around. <laughs> okay, so we're done. So we have our character. We're level one. We have 12 hit points, which is a lot for a level one sorcerer, if you ask me. Um, our DC or difficulty class is a 14. Our hero points, we have one. Our saving throws, will is plus seven. Rec reflex is plus five. And fortitude is plus three. Um, we have a, a zero modifier for strength, zero, um, plus two for the dex modifier, Dex modifier for constitution is zero. Intelligence modifier is one. Wisdom modifier 
is two and charisma modifier is a plus four which is huge i'm a class 15 right now speed of 30 feet perception is plus five all of our skills have been calculated for us we do not need to worry about doing all of that maths we've it's been done okay we have access to simple weapons and unarmed strikes so if we want a weapon it's going to have to be a simple weapon okay and we do not have armor so don't don't ask for armor and uh we we're going to cast some spells so let's have a look here first inventory will deal in a second so all of our actions are in the in, um, action tab and then you just scroll down to find what you're looking for and you can click it on and it will tell you what it does okay next weapons we don't have any weapons yet spells we need to select some spells so right now my understanding is um we are going to be getting is it three first level spells three first level spells for a sorcerer and we should be getting some cantrips as well uh no arcana is not repeated we we should be all good we've got arcana in there okay so managing spells we'll go to that first okay so we have five cantrips that we can use and we get three spell slots sounds nice doesn't it um hashtag um pick some cantrips i will tell you what they are so just give me a second repertoire cantrips are here so acid splash chill touch dancing lights days detect magic um electric arc ghost sound light mage hand message prestidigitation we sh we should already have produce flame because i selected it ray of frost we didn't get it last time so we'll take it this time because you guys were all asking for it uh read aura we already have shield sigil tangle foot and telekinetic projectile so now that that's been determined you will let me know what cantrips you would like to select okay i can go through them again acid splash chill touch dancing lights days detect magic electric arc ghost sound um light mage hand message prestidigitation uh we've already got ray of frost and produce flame read aura shield light tangle foot and telekinetic projectile and it looks to me like we already have shield as well so yeah we don't need to worry too much about that one so yeah pick up pick up whatever you want and we'll go from there now where are we uh class of 66 chill touch we've got to vote for chill touch let's take chill, chill touch done we've got chill touch that's three we need two more ghost sound done ghost set all right come on people get get your votes in there make a choice um 190 is the sorcerer god 190 uh okay okay yep light telekin oh, telekinetic pro days to tech magic okay so there's a couple that we're going to have to have a bit of a battle over i'll be rolling off on some of these i think so how many do we have we have one two three four five six six oh awesome okay so um first one out of these six i will unselect this one unselect this one oh you can't unselect that's right i remember if you select them you can't unselect them from here <laughs> all right so let's just roll the dice i got a five five is days days it is all right that's the number five okay right that'll do uh so then you take them once you've done that you grab them oh come on it's not what i want to do okay so i should be able to grab it and drag it over to oh it doesn't work that way oh maybe it doesn't work that way maybe it's a different system for that one okay let's do the uh, the manage our um our first level spells we've only got one so far true strike which is kind of garbage um do that again first level spells so pick a first level spell 
hashtag um, pick first level spells okay So our first level spells are um, Air Bubble, Alarm, Ant Hall, Burning Hands, Charm, Color Spray, Command, Create Water, Fear, Feather Fall, Fleet Step, Floating Disc, Goblin Pox, Grease, Grim Tendril and um, Tendrils, Grim Tendrils, Ghost of um, Gust of Wind, sorry, Hydraulic Press. Illusionary Disguise, Illusionary Object, um, Item Facade, uh, Jump, Lock, Long Strider, uh, Mage Armor, Magic Aura, Magic Missile, Magic Weapon, Mending, Negate Aroma, <laughs> Pest Form, Ray of Enfeeblement, Shocking Grasp, Sleep, Spider Sting, Summon Animal, Summon con Construct, and uh, Unseen Servant, and Votriloquism. Votri Votri We've already got True Strike, so don't worry about that one. Okay, so we've got... Oh, there's some choices here coming through. Yeah, Eddie, they, it looks like they do cha they change the way things work a little bit. I'm not, I'm not too sure what's going on there, but okay. That's fine. Uh, we don't have an electric anything, so we can't do with electric. Um, uh, but you spell either year true strike well in five years um Greece somebody had said Greece so we can add Greece Zag has said Greece um it's our first level and then we've got burning hands Burning hands, sure. Burning hands. Burning hands. There we go. Burning hands. And we should have one more. Burning hands. And then Eddie has voted for um, Fleet Step. Okay. Is it True Strikes a little bit better in Pathfinder 2E? Good to know. Thank you, Zag. Okay, Fleet Step. Fleet Step. Okay, all right, so we should be right. And I, I think I'm supposed to pick one more cantrip because there's a cantrip that we already get there. So um, what was the choices on the... Um, was there one that I missed? I think I grabbed all of them. But yeah, we already had Shield, so it's Chill Touch... Ghost sound, did that one, didn't I? Ghost sound, I did. Uh, light, I didn't pick up light, it's just that. Okay, there we go, all right. Okay, this is one of your slots. Just doesn't seem to, in the past I was just able to um, grab it and cantrip negative yeah, okay all right so now with the first level slots we can just chuck in whatever we need so we can go burning hands oh no it doesn't do that all right why won't it let me do that usually you could just grab it and it just drop it in it's okay so there's something weird going on there okay so we've done that bit wonderful now that we've got our spells and it lists all our spells in our spec spell section our core spells we should have our focus spells and our innate spells produce flame. Okay, so we've got a bunch of them that do various things. There they are. Next, inventory. We're going to buy some equipment. Hashtag. What weapons and gear do we buy? There we go. That's our question. All right. <clears throat> I'm already for you. You tell me what gear you want. I'll go buy it. Um, I'm going to say backpack is probably near the top of our, our desired thing. But I wonder if there's a sorcerer's kit. There is. What's in the sorcerer's kit? 
The Sorcerer's Kit comes with the following. Note this kit item is modified Adventurous Pack, which is includes in each kit class. Um, so what does it consist of? Uh, 20 sling bullets, a dagger, a sling, uh, two sets of caltrops, and adventurous pack stuff. Eh, let's just get that one. Save a lot of time. Buy it. Sweet. Open it. So we get a bedroll, caltrops, chalk, daggers, flint and steel, rations one week, rope, sling, sling bullet, soap, torch, water skin, um, yeah. Nice. That was nice and easy. What else do we want to get? I should have an add button. Okay, I'll check that in a second, um, Eddie. It's obviously, it's changed from last time. I didn't have it there before. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? Oil. Okay, you want oil. We don't have oil yet, but we will have oil. Uh, pine oil, let's uh, buy it. Uh, candles, sure, candles, we can get candles. For those, um, <laughs> for those times when you want to hang out, have a, <laughs> a candle at dinner. Um, tinderbox, we have flint and steel already. A lantern, torches, everything. You want everything. You want a staff. Eddie wants a staff. We'll give him a staff. Uh, we'll get you a staff. Uh, we'll just give it to him. He just gets a staff. We'll just give him a staff. Did I do it? Yes, we got a staff. Well done. Throw away the soap. You want to get rid of the throw away the soap? You don't want the soap. You reckon the soap is a bad idea? <laughs> so we actually have quite a bit of equipment there. Uh, you want a lantern as well. Fine. You can get a lantern. Torches. Alright. Torch. A torch. There we go. We get a torch. Buy it. You can burn stuff. You want a lantern as well. Sure. No. Staff of Fire is not for you. No. No, 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 no. You are level one. No Staff of Fire. <laughs> lantern. Here we go, lantern, a uh, hooded lantern, a bullseye lantern. Um, okay, six hours, bullseye. It's pretty strong. All right, let's just go with that. Okay, uh, right. I think... I think we might be good. I mean, we can buy more stuff, but we've got quite a bit of stuff already. An ever-burning torch. <laughs> I think an ever-burning torch is not supposed to be for a level 1 character, if I remember right, but ever-burning torch, yeah. Oh, no, it is. It is. It's a level 1 thing. It is costly, though. I don't think we'll be able to buy it. If I try to buy it, I bet you there's going to be a problem. Is there going to be a problem? Yeah, it's too expensive. Ever burning torch is going to be way too expensive. You're going to have to go and save up your money for that one. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's just undo this thing here because this red error thing at the top is not going to help us in the slightest. And it's reloading. Is it opening traits? Yes. There we go. All right, that's good. Okay, so we're good. We've got the bullseye lantern. We've got all our gear. Now, if we go to our weapons section, it will calculate our attack for it, the attack bonus, and how much damage it does. The damage roll is required, required for your weapon. So your staff, your sling is already built in. The other ones were already there for improvised weapons, fists. The dagger's um, there now, okay? So you can see exactly what you're going to do with each one. Dabber, jick, uh, j <laughs> And the juices. Okay, lovely. We're going to burn them that way. They won't... <laughs> anyway, that's it. It has taken us just under an hour to build a sorcerer. We've picked all our spells. We've got our equipment. And uh, the character is done. 
and it's ready to play, ready to go. Like, how's that? Pretty simple. And all I did is I think I looked up one page in the play in the in this book. Like, I literally all I did to build that character is I, I looked in, on one page of this book to make sure I was getting the right number of spells and cantrips. That's it. That's all I did. And um, I didn't really need to even do that to a large extent. The, the, the builder kind of walks you through that process, which is really, really handy. It's quite good. Ghost pepper darts. <laughs> uh, nice. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to finish up in a second, but before I do, um, I'm going to drop my Discord link into the chat. If you want to come and chat with me for a little while before I go to work, you can. Uh, it is not restricted to Patreon. Um, obviously, it's nice when the patrons do show up and chat in, in there, but if you're not a patron, you can come and just have a little chat while I'm doing stuff before I go to work. So I will invite, send an invite in the chat here. For those of you who are interested. If you're not interested, that's cool. Get on with your day. Do what you need to do. There it is. And I will end this poll. And so how many people have made a sorcerer for Pathfinder Second Ed Edition? So we had 72% who said no, they haven't done it. Uh, and yes, 9% out of 11 votes. Interesting. Good to know. Good to know. So as I said, um, if you want to come and hang out and chat for a little while, I'll be on Discord uh, in about five or ten minutes and I'll be there until roughly for just under an hour before I have to go to work so you're welcome to come and chat what is happening tomorrow I will be trying to take a bit of a break so I'm going to just go over um, Dungeons and Dragons 5e rules because I have the slides all ready to go all the material is done um, it's just because I have not been able to have enough headspace and time to prepare anything else just been too busy and I'm getting tired getting closer and closer to that time anyway uh, I want to say a big huge thank you to all of my patrons who support me on Patreon I really do appreciate uh, your you running uh, allowing me to run this program uh, that's why you support me so that uh, this keeps going each week we'll be back again next week and um, for those of you who or have been in the chat responding to the um, to the, the poll thank you for filling out the poll thank you for those of you who've been just watching and listening or if you've been taking part even better hey a huge thank you to fred hubber um zaggy uh eddie who else have we got here there's been a few of you today bruno's been hanging out with us today we've had uh, shiner 81 uh, uh, the, uh, the, I'm going to miss somebody, aren't I? I know I am. Diago's been hanging out with us for a little bit. All of your feedback and your comments have been appreciated. Yeah, really, really good. Nice to have you here. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, okay, or night, or the wee, wee early morning, please look after yourself, your family, and your friends. Be nice to your neighbours, and hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.